ways look on the bright side of life. See? Always look on the light side of life. If life seems jolly rotten, something you've forgotten. And that's the laugh and smile and dance and sing. If you're feeling in the dumps, don't be silly chumps. Just burn your lips and whistle at the beat. Hey, always look on the bright side of life. Oh, we have a panda bear and a bear bear. Along with the New Hampshire Marine Patrol. All right, shall we officially begin? Let's do it. Our horrible, our, <laughs> our horribleness. <clears throat> um, some of you have attended this auction of horrible things in the past, but I think that some of you are experiencing this delight for the first time. Um, so the reason we do this is that the grid operator of New England has their um, forward capacity auction every year. They have it last week. Is that uh, so last week they had they held this forward capacity auction. And um, it's pretty horrible. I'll explain it in just a moment. And we decided that uh, one way to um, push back on it is to have our own version of an auction called the Auction of Horrible Things. <clears throat> so this is our third or fourth year having this spoof auction. Um, it's, it's been said a few times, but um, just to be clear, we're not no um, no money will be exchanged. Um, this evening, except for the what? delightful, absurd <laughs> currencies that that we come up with here. Um, okay, so the forward capacity auction that happens with the grid operator, it's not, in fact, an auction at all. Um, people who, companies, plants, there we go, plants who produce energy announce how much money they think they would like to get to be available to produce energy. So for a little while, we thought that just the plants that, <laughs> sorry, I'm distracted by the alien who just landed. Um, we thought that just the plants that were, that only came online at peak demand times were in the forward capacity auction. But it turns out, I guess, that everybody who makes energy gets to say, we would like to receive a certain bazillion dollars to just be available three years from now to make energy. And then the ISO, the grid operator, sorts it all out. And then um, I think the person who bids the everyone gets the same highest amount of the high, of the highest bidder. It's a very odd auction um, to be available. They get this money just to be there, um, and it's it's bidding out three years into the future so that things are planned out ahead of time. Um, so the power plant in Bo has been part of this. Um, auction and they run very rarely and they get a chunk of money to just sit there and be available to burn coal and put a lot of carbon into the atmosphere and mercury into the air and lots of horrible things. Um, last year when they ran this auction, the, uh, the coal plant didn't, uh, didn't get any money to be available three years from that auction. And then uh, not too long after that, I think the um, grid operator said, you know what, actually this whole forward capacity auction isn't a very good model. We think it's kind of broken and we maybe shouldn't be doing it, except we'll do it just one last time. This year, they're going to do it one more time, one more broken time. And then next year, they're not going to do it. Uh, that's the plan. <clears throat> and then they're going to do something else with it will hopefully be less horrible. Um, so who knows, this might be our last auction of horrible things. Maybe we'll have something um, sillier to do next year. Uh, so that is the story of the auction of horrible things. And this, you know, it's one of those things that it's so, the system is so broken that we have to find some laughter in it together. And it keeps us going. Uh, and it helps us find creative ways to, to mess with the system as it is um okay so one more thing and then uh we will start to get into the actual event 
speaking of messing with the system as it actually is, um, the consumer liaison group um, is meeting on March 6th up in Portland, Maine. I'm pointing at Portland right now. Um, we love to have you in the room with us live and in person wearing any of these fabulous costumes or not. Um, but if that's not possible, you can attend online. We just started to circulate the registration. If you haven't seen that and think that you'd like to, there it is now, right there in the chat. Um, Pop-Tart toaster fire. <laughs> okay, the silliness is breaking out. Join us March 6th, because um, that's a chance to ask a lot of questions and push on the system. Now, we will begin our auction. Um, it looks like you have already uh, undertaken the fabulousness of your silly corporate persona. You're encouraged to change personas so that we can't keep track of what horrible bids you're putting out. You're also encouraged to um, come up with your own currencies. Um, Bitcoin, of course, is a particularly horrible currency, but you may have even more delightfully horrible currencies and you may be inspired by other people. And I think now uh, I will <laughs> hand it over to Pop -to Toaster Fire. Is there anything else that you wish to tell us about the bidding or Mark, our fantastic auctioneer who is, uh, has studied these very important auction items very carefully, will be able to describe their finer qualities and explain to us why we should bid high and bid often. Uh, anything else about currency or bidding before we plunge in? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna show you for a moment how it's gonna work to do the bidding. In the past, we've done the bidding um, in the chat this time we're gonna do it in person. So please everybody, if you can say some bids, they can be as ridiculous as you'd like. And also I may continue to rename you silly things, but if you don't like that, let me know and I'll stop. And I didn't mean to check any boxes that would mess up your future Zoom calls. So sorry about that. Um, but uh, one sec and I will show you what it's gonna look like. Um, okay, so can you see, can you see this? Great. Everybody can see it? I can see it. Cool. So there's going to be a slideshow and items are going to come up for bid on the slideshow. And then our auctioneer is going to describe the items. And then he's going to say, let the bidding begin. I'm not showing you the items yet because they're a surprise. But imagine that we were bidding on this uh, amazing uh, photo of a gecko driving a van in Times Square. So then once he says, let the bidding begin, then we'll all see each other again. And you can just unmute yourself and say a bid. There will be a starting bid and you can bid on that. You can raise the bid. The bids can be whatever you want. Like you could bid crumbs, like that could be your bid. And so we'll just keep going. And then our auctioneer will decide when it is, who has won the, the bid. And then uh, can you show us your gaffle please auctioneer? That's the gavel. So once the gavel gets waved, then we know who won the bid. and We'll move to the next bid. Also, the auctioneer is my dad. Uh, everyone, please welcome him. Uh, thank you for coming, dad. Um, yes, I'm going to open this. Would you like to say anything to introduce yourself? Yes. You ready? Yeah. Are you Are you ready? Do okay. You the show? Um, no, gavel? not yet. Okay. All right. Oh, Leaf, you're you're going. Are you there? My internet's being weird. Can I I'm hear? just gonna continue. Unfortunately, Great. I think Leaf has left us. Uh okay. Watching of horrible things. Hello, I'm your host, Mark Taranta. Usually I'm accompanied by my wonderful wife Betsy who is really the only one in this house who knows how to use technology. Uh, and she's also witnessed me, has witnessed me literally punch, bite, and scream at a numerous computer screens. So if everything goes well tonight, uh, I might start believing in God. Uh, before we begin, I'd like to make you aware that we have some new sponsors for this year's event. I am 
so New England, stealing from your community and, and Florida, the Sunshine State, except as a member of the LGBTQT community or anyone who has ever been or intends to be an immigrant or a descendant of an immigrant or who even knows an immigrant, or if you ever have read a book, or if you have ever seen a Disney film, purchased any Disney merchandise, or even ever said the word Disney. And of course, if you are taller than Ron DeSantis. And lastly, sponsored for our event, the Burlington City Council, who wants you to know, installing all those CCTV cameras is just another way of showing how much we care. How the auction works. I will and give a brief description of each auction item and then open the floor for bids. As a bidder, you're encouraged to bid with the most horrible thing you can think of and using it as your currency. For example, I read it, I give out an eight, used kitty litter scented car fresheners or the thing that has been stuck to the bottom of your shoe or on your shoe for the last three days after some hopefully competitive bidding i will then pick the most horrible bidder and that person will take the item home with them or pretend they're taking the item home with them so pop tart toaster is still <laughs> houston we have a problem okay Okay, so welcome to the auction of horrible things. And the first thing up for bid is human biogas methane sourced locally at home. Now, here's the entrepreneurial opportunity of a lifetime. Are you a big seven bean burrito fan? Often asked if you work in the fertilizer industry. Are you the one of the potluck who always has one too many servings of that fried cabbage? Well, use your gastrointestinal volatility to make big money by selling your own methane. Stop flushing money down the toilet. Instead, expel it, bottle it, and sell it. Did you know methane is used to fill party balloons? It's also used in thousands of cosmetic products, and it's also a popular food item in the Fox News cafeteria. Should you have the winning bid, we'll throw in a free do-it-yourself home colonoscopy kit. So let's everyone put on their bidding hats and start the bidding away. I'm going to, so uh, Cash Bale is on the bus. So I'm going to read Cash Bale's bid. Uh, deluxe slushy, fresh from a Boston sidewalk, car tire flavored. Oh yeah, do I can any can anyone can anyone beat that bid? Come on, let's get some bids going. Cash bail from to everyone. <laughs> anyone else? Anyone have a competing bid? Pop right, I have a competing bid. Yes. Uh, we have all these little bits of yarn all over our house from cutting up pieces of yarn from knitting and whatnot. None of them uh -huh. are usable, uh, and they're everywhere. You'd have to come collect them, but you can have them. Okay. Anyone can beat the yarn detritus on in the house that you can go and pick it up yourself. Sounds like a winning bid. Going specialist, boy, do you have a bid? I do Ma have a bid. Um, yes. I'll offer you all the paper in my desk and all my homework. You know, uh, that's uh, going once, going twice, sold to Specialist Boy, the homework and all the paper uh, in their room or desk. All right, we have a winner. All right, come and collect your human biogas sourced at home. <laughs> all right, item number two, Pop-Tart Toaster, is Belly Button Lint Blanket. Extracted from over 600 volunteers, this warm, cozy, and cheese-scented blanket can be yours to use anytime and anywhere. 
Take it to your favorite sporting event or outdoor concert. How about on that family picnic? Use it while mowing your lawn or cleaning the gutters. Soon everyone in your neighborhood will want one. This item is not recommended on first dates and is not a flotation device. With the winning bid, we'll throw in a replica British tea set made from human teeth. So let's everybody start the bidding, please. I'm gonna oh. bid six, uh, six You brought actual, your money with you today. <laughs> six actual flotation devices that we accidentally borrowed from a summer camp facility. Okay, so stolen stolen boats from a probably a orphan camp uh, facility. Uh, what state do we have that we can prosecute you in? New Hampshire, for sure. The New Hampshire. Okay. Uh, do we have a counter bid? Silly slime, slip and slide. That's you, David. I'm gonna bid exactly what Extinction Imperium bidded. But I'm going to fill the, what were they, floaties? What were they exactly? Flotation, flotation devices. devices. Yes. All Stolen flotation that. devices. Stolen. I'm going to bid that, but on my flotation devices, stolen ones are filled with methane, which was also stolen from Specialist Boy right after delivery of the box. Now, that's a strong bid. Does anyone have a counter bid? We got I'm seeing two in the chat. Yeah, do you want to read those Pop Tart Toaster Fire? And yes, we've got please. one from a, a Marine Patrol, I think. Thank you, Extinction Imperium. Cash Bail bids a barely functional dry erase marker that neither writes nor erases and also squeaks. And <laughs> Ethics Officer from Atlas Holdings bids a deluxe full set of 44 finger and toenail clippings. Uh, Cash Bail then has raised that with uh, the floaters are filled with slime, like really, really heavy slime. Wait, 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 wait. Floaties. No, cash bail can't bid that. I, I control the slime. Oh, we have a moratorium. <laughs> we have I'm a monopoly on the slime here. You all have to go to corporate court. Um, <laughs> while you all are in corporate court over the slime, Marine Patrol? I think we yeah. might need to bring in an arbitrator for this one. So I would just first like to note that I'm making a report with my superiors <laughs> because I believe that stolen flotation devices, if they indeed came out of water in the state of New Hampshire are within our jurisdiction and we will be investigating with all of our resources. Um, meanwhile, well, thank you, Stevie Wonder. Thank you very much. I, we appreciate that. <laughs> meanwhile, I, I do have an actual bid. I'd like to um, to bid all of the several hundred pounds of fecal matter that were delivered to Nancy Pelosi the other day um, as seen in the TikTok deposited in the chat. Mm, lovely. Lovely. I'm glad I had dinner. Okay. Um, anyone have a counter bid for um, whatever that was? <laughs> no, I don't want to give it to the, to the, who is it? Marine patrol unit. So someone bid something else. All right. Well, we have the toenails and we have the slime. So we'll, we'll combine it. We'll give it to both groups. Is that okay? Going once, going twice. And as I hit my screen with my mallet, Sold. All right. Oh, well, that was a good competitive bid. All right, next. Knee pull and GSP swag. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to have two items for this uh, particular bidding event. And uh, first, we have the entire war, an entire wardrobe of knee pull fleece. Let me explain what knee pull is. Knee pull, which stands for New England Power Pull, is the secret council of businesses that controls, manipulates, and makes millions of dollars, tax dollars, off the New England grid. So why would you ever want to wear Patagonia when you can be the fashion icon representing the wonderful fossil fuel industry? That's right. Win now, and you can be the proud owner of an entire wardrobe of knee pool fleece. With fleece jackets, shirts, pants, underwear, and lingerie, you can yell to the world, I live, sleep, wear, and breathe knee pull. You're letting everyone know, I believe in tax subsidies for an entity that effectively destroys communities and the environment while making money. Can't beat that. 
proudly wear your knee pool wardrobe to your kid's next elementary school birthday celebration or during recognizing respiratory disease month. This petroleum-based clothing comes in black lung disease black, blood red, and purulent green. And with the winning bid, you can have a free Granite Shore Power water bottle. Granite Shore Power brings you another effective way to be carbon positive. Introducing its water bottle made of a conglomeration of 18 different BPAs and uranium, this stylish glow in the light and dark hydrating carcinogen is just the water bottle you need when you and your nine buddies take those long ATV rides through virgin forests or how when you feel sunbaked on your 300 foot mega yacht. The winner of this item will get a free crop duster using only the finest Roundup products money can buy. Well, let's let the beginning, uh, let's let the bid begin. Who's up? Oh, Jesus. It's Stevie Wonder again. <laughs> no. Oh, I would like to, in exchange for the Nepal outfit, I would like to bid a sweater that is crocheted from fiberglass and asbestos. In Cozy equal and comfortable. Oh, yeah. Lovely maximum, garment. maximum value. Really, <laughs> That's you a can't strong resist. Bid. That is a very strong bid, Cash Bail. Was that you cash put it bail? on once, you'll wear it for the rest of your life. Okay. Yeah, which will be very short. Okay, next. Anyone have a counter bid to the asbestos fiberglass sweater? I bid a lifetime supply of expired mayonnaise. Mm, nothing like old mayonnaise on your best BLT. <laughs> One of my favorites. Anybody else? We have old mayonnaise and asbestos uh, garments. I don't I know. Like asbestos garment sounds pretty horrible. Anyone else? Go okay. ahead, Cody. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yeah, say, Cody. Um, I would like to bid a reverse life straw, and that's all I'll say about that. Is that known as a catheter? <laughs> no, God, no. I meant like a straw that turns clean drinking water into like uh, oh, okay, perfect. Yeah. Oh okay. my god. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> thank, thank you for making me expand on that. Actually. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> we needed it. All right. Reverse life straw, asbestos wardrobe, and a uh, mayonnaise. All right. These are strong bids. Anyone? I'm gonna have to choose between these three. I gotta go with the asbestos. I mean, that's that's just pretty damn horrible. Um, of course, yeah, we'll go with the asbestos. Anyone countering? Nope. Okay. Asbestos wins it. All right. We have two more and then we have an intermission. The next up is frozen compost bucket. Nothing beats 85 pounds of frozen food waste. This expertly selected assortment of vegetable refuse includes over eight different types of root vegetables, 19 different leafy greens, the remains of a partially consumed Caesar salad, and the unidentifiable veggie dip that hid behind the hummus in the back of the refrigerator for over two years. All you have to do should you win this beauty, is park this superfood waste bucket near your neighbor with the Trump 2024 lawn sign and wait for summer. With the winning bid, we'll throw in the contents gathered from the dumpster located behind Bob's House of Pork. Let the bidding begin. <laughs> Cody, Cody, what do you got? What do you got? <laughs> oh. I would like to bid that one neighbor that always decides to do construction at 7 a.m. on a Saturday. Yeah, and I've got a few of those. That's perfect. Right now, that hits right at, right at home. Anyone have better than the annoying neighbor with the construction at 7 a.m.? How about I the got, annoying neighbor? Yes. I got summer camp refrigerator that smells like rotting trout. Sounds like we spend a lot of time at summer camps. Do you want to explain yourself? <laughs> 
It's a good you place stole to gather. their flotation devices, and now you're hoarding their fro their rotten trout in their refrigerator. Okay, I will leave your name and address at the end of the auction, please. <laughs> All right, so we got rotted trout. We have obnoxious neighbor. Anyone else? Anyone else? Silly oh, slime has yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, first off, this doesn't sound like a horrible thing to me at all. Uh, I'm a big composter. I love compost. So I'm not sure about this item. I would bid, though, along the theme of neighbors, I would bid my neighbor who complains about my compost and about the weasel or the, um, the, the badger or whatever she claims lives there. So I'm bidding her for this wonderful thing. Which I which I would really want. I want a bit. I a possum yes. comes to your basement every time the landlord comes over and scares your landlord away, but that's actually good. So I want that. Never mind. We're All right. So we have a trained possum. possum. We retract our bid. <laughs> okay. I see one from the bottomless boats company. Do you want to speak your bid? Uh, I, I would like to bid one of those um, public bathroom air fresheners that sprays out freshener every three minutes. Thank you, Ahab. Thank you for that. That was a very good. That was good. Okay. All right. Air freshener trained. Oh, is the possum off the off the bids? Okay. That possum's off. Okay. Let's go with the, I think we got to go with the 7 a.m. obnoxious uh, neighbor doing construction. Anyone have a counter bid before I hit my screen with my mallet? One, two, three, sold. <laughs> okay, let's go on to our next. You okay, Captain Ahab? You all right? Okay, let's go to not our, our next item before we have an intermission. Custody, custody, <laughs> custody of emotional support sulfur curve, sulfur Cole, me me have talk trouble talk. Me it backwards the talking. Up. Okay. Do you have do you become anxious when you go to the doctor or before your big violin recital and you don't even play the violin? Well, fear not, because you can now win the item that will get rid of all your life's hardships. Emotional support, sulfur coal. That's right. You can be the lucky owner of over 18 million metric tons of sulfur coal. Got three final exams tomorrow? No worries. You've got your sulfur coal. Just got your 23andMe results and learned you're related to Rudy Giuliani? Oh, no worries. Just wrap your arms around your sulfur coal. With the winning bid, we'll throw in a steel drum of emotional support toxic sludge and even erect a five bedroom house to your own specifications on a super fun site. Everyone, let's bid. Yes, Captain Ahab. You're muted. I have your parrot talk. I don't. I haven't developed my bid yet. Oh, okay. Sorry. Anyone? Come on. Sulfur Corn. coal. Anyone? Sulfur coal. Corn. Do it. Yes, corn. Corn. Just, that's the bid. <laughs> Corn's your bid. Officer Richie, Railroad Police. I know you have a bid for this coal. And I believe we have a bid in the uh, chat here. Emotional support, broken MBTA tracks. And in oh, fact, no, no, no. they've upped their bid before anyone else has been able to bid, to bid the entirety of the MBTA. Okay, entirety of what? The Massachusetts Bay Transportation Authority. Oh, okay. It's kind of oh, hard. Their motto is, we're always late. Just we, wait, we're always late. Their motto was, we don't run at all. That was <laughs> okay. <laughs> The entirety of MBTA. Does anyone have a competing bid? 
I would like to make a bid inspired by someone who uh, nearly blinded me on my walk home today. Um, and that is a headlamp, but instead of a light, it's just a bunch of lasers. So oh. if you look at someone, solid chance of blinding them. Also would love to know what that guy on my walk home today was doing with a bunch of laser pointers in his hand. It was really Okay, funny. so we yeah. have the retinal burning light laser. All right. Um, the entirety of the MBTA. And do we have a third bit to counteract the retinal burning guy and the never running MBTA? Right. To clarify, if you, if you get the MBTA, you also have to be in charge of it. Like mm. you get it and then everyone blames you. For uh, the well, I think that's MBTA. a strong bid. Does anyone have a counter bid to, <laughs> to that? I think, to run I think it traffic well as... court is inflating the value of their currency by making it worse and worse. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to bid one breach of bail charge for thinking about blocking a coal plant or a coal train. Okay. Wait, say that again? Uh, the bid is one breach of bail charge for thinking about blocking a coal train. <laughs> You've really gone to the dark side, haven't you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. I think corn. I gotta give it to the M huh? Corn. <laughs> okay, corn. Uh, yeah, okay, great. That's great. Corn, yeah. Okay. Uh thank God for the soon to be intermission. Okay, I think we're going with the entirety of running and owning and operating the MBTA. Okay, I'm gonna count of three. I'm gonna smash my computer screen once again. One, two, three. That's over. Okay, intermission. Or announcements? Oh, there was just briefly a beautiful cake. The cake is coming back. Okay, good. One moment, it will be back. But also, we have announcements. Uh, Kendra, do you have minutes to talk about the announcements? I do. Um, so I want to tell you what's actually happening with with the horror the various horrible things that are happening with the plant that are actually sort of not horrible things from our perspective um oh look the, the easter bunny has arrived in traffic court it's fitting okay so here are some things that are happening to granite shore power one they well i think we have to say they were being sued by the people who sell them coal because granite shore power decided not to pay for the coal um, that was delivered to them. They said it was the wrong kind. I think there may have also been mentioned about the fact that it took too long to get to them. Um, I don't know what could possibly have delayed any deliveries of coal. <clears throat> so um, it seems like maybe that lawsuit has been um, has been dismissed on some sort of technicality, but there was a, 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 a legal proceedings about that. As I mentioned earlier, they are no longer receiving money in the um, Ford Capacity auction. And um, Gordon Van Welly, who is the, is he the CEO? What is he? Can't be a CEO of a. Yeah. Turns out he yeah. is. Can. He can be. All right. CEO of a nonprofit organization. Of the uh, grid operator, the ISO, um, said that there are. Oh, did he say, oh, they're not doing that anymore? Is that how he explained that the that the bow power plant won't be in the forward capacity auction anymore? So that they've decided not to participate. Oh, they've decided not to participate. Um, so a year ago is the last time that they successfully passed an emissions test. Um, since then, they've failed some emissions tests and then failed to run an emission test. And it, um, we have heard from sources that the reason that they can't pass an emissions test is because they can't get their boiler to run. So um, it sure looks like the plant is falling apart um, and that it's gonna mm -hmm. be, uh, it's gonna be done soon. And here is an article about it. And we have some, uh, celebrations yeah. perhaps that's why the cake is coming back the cake is coming back one moment stand by for cake 
Can you see it? It's back. We see it. Um, please read the article and share it around because it really does seem like the plant is imminently going to close, hopefully. Um, but we still have to make fun of this auction because it's still supporting all these other horrible fossil fuel plants. So we still have a ton of work to do. Um, and the next couple, the next item is actually going to be inspired by a real auction that has been taking place where the coal plant is trying to sell parts of itself away. Um, well, the New Hampshire ratepayers are still paying for those parts. So uh, that's fun. Um, but please enjoy the cake and congratulations, everybody, on hopefully things being slightly less horrible uh, with less coal plants. Um, yes. Does anybody else have a, a intermission announcement? We will have some more amount announcements at the end. If you came late, please remember to sign up for the CLG meeting, which is on March 6th, and we will have a link for you at the end of that. Yes. Marla, do you want to say any announcement? No. Um, we're, uh, maybe I'll just say, I think everybody here maybe knows about this, but uh, we're starting the next round of learning cohorts where we learn to do uh, some important things together. and. Uh, if you need a link to express, to tell us which sorts of things you might be interested in, you can message me. I'm at Extinction Imperium today, tonight, and uh, I will be happy to send you a link to a little survey that doesn't commit you to anything, but helps people leading those cohorts find you. Do we want to say anything about the next steps on the paddlers that got arrested just for paddling? Thank you. Um, so we've got a trial that we could have as many as eight defendants in on uh, March, Monday, March 11th. Uh, that's when it's scheduled for. Uh, we think that there will be at least some number of those people going to trial uh, because uh, there's just not sufficient evidence to convict these people. Um, and uh, Officer uh, Officer Richie was going to appear and, um, you know, start arresting us, but but we decided against it tonight because that might be too scary. Uh, but we'll be making sure that you get information about uh, this trial uh, so that you can, if you have the ability to be in New Ham in Concord, New Hampshire on Monday, March 11th to support folks, that you can come if you want. Check. Some of our defendants are here tonight. I was gonna say, we can't share a lot about the discovery right now, but let's say that it is some very horrible, let's say police work and should be very entertaining um, if we make it that far. <laughs> yep. Bottomless boats, boat is sinking. Oh no. <laughs> Been high and often. Bye, bottomless boats. Yay. So we will hear more about the trial and follow up on the real life horrible thing that was people getting arrested for being on a river. Um, and perhaps we will. Do people want to wave if you are a part of that crew or only if you want to? Um, and then. Oh, New Hampshire Marine Patrol had to leave to prepare for his cross-examination. That's why Officer Ritchie is here. Well, New Hampshire Marine Patrol Jr. is not going to do well in his cross-examination. So um, you should tell him that. Yeah, I think the Marine Patrol knows that. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like they've not committed any discovery yet. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, now the cake is coming back. Everybody, let's celebrate one more time all these things. And then we will have some more bids. Well, one moment. I'm looking for the cake. <laughs> okay. Yay. Virtual cake. Yeah. Not called no gap. No really called no gap without a cake. <laughs> Are we ready for the next the next round of bidding? Yeah. All right. 
This is a real item that you can okay. buy. Okay, let's, let's yeah. resume. Uh, okay, so next up is the Merrimack Station smokestack and leaky boiler. And this is, uh, this is gonna be a hot item. So uh, let's get it rolling. Wanna make a statement to all your friends and neighbors? Want to be the proud owner of the one thing that screams, I have made it? Well, here's your chance. With the winning bid, you can be the proud owner of a Merrimack Power Station smokestack. That's right. Nothing yells success more than owning an 89-foot tall, 933,000-ton carcinogenic spewing smokestack. Just imagine, you'd be the envy of all your neighbors. So when Becky, who lives three door three doors down from you says, Ashley got into Yale. You can say, yeah, well, I've got a smokestack. Or when Cliff from around the corner announces, I just got a big promotion. You can say, yeah, my smokestack's bigger than your promotion. With the winning bid, we'll throw in a jumbo sized recycling bin because nothing tells your neighbors that you're a better recycler to th than them than a nine foot tall, 227 cubic gallon recycling bin. Start bidding. I bid 76 buckets of coal that were liberated from the Merrimack station. Okay, 76 buckets of coal. Anyone have a counter bid to the 76 buckets of coal? 76 I, buckets of coal. I bid all the zip ties that are currently holding the plant together. Okay, zip ties, holding plant together. Zip ties, 76 buckets. Zip ties, 76 buckets. Anyone? Anyone? Zip ties, buckets, zip ties, buckets, buckets, zip the, ties. The rusty ladder that you can actually buy on Craigslist right now um, that goes up the smokestack and is definitely totally safe to go on. Do you know how much it's for? How much you're asking? Well, uh, they may not have been the ones that put it on Craigslist. <laughs> okay, zip ties, rusty ladder, bucket, zip ties. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm going to go rusty ladder. And this is not nepotism at all. Not at all. Nothing to do with nepotism. It's rusty ladder. Anyone better than rusty ladder? Going once, twice. Sold to Rusty Ladder. All right. Next. Pos positively no tres trespassing wall art. This thought-provoking wall art can be yours with the winning bid. It begs the question, do signs that only say no trespassing have some wiggle room? Or if no trespassing is a positive and trespassing is a negative, then positively no trespassing has a net sum of zero. So therefore, trespassing is okay. This is a very roundabout way of declaring, come on in, all is welcome. Should you have the winning bid, we'll throw in even more thought-provoking wall art, such as park and rear, and the most helpful, keep your eyes on the road sign. Let's get the bids going. Empty ravioli again. Does anyone have a bid? Do I hear a bid? Do I hear a bid? Anyone got a bid? David, jump in. I got, I got a bid. I got a bid. So as Woody Guthrie said, the back side of that sign, don't say nothing. So I'm betting the back side of that positively no trespassing sign. <laughs> That's a clever bid and a good Woody Guthrie reference. Kudos to you. Extra bonus points. Anyone have a counter bid to Woody Guthrie backside sign? Woody had one. I see, I was gonna say, I see two bits that we missed from the last round. So assuming that they want this item, we've got from Cody and Gilbert, a kitchen knife set and a full toolbox, but none of the knives or tools have handles. And <laughs> from particulate matter, a rotten banana leaking in a backpack. And then also anti-homeless architecture spikes under an entryway. 
for a bench tilted at a 45 degree angle. Okay, we got a lot of things going on here. Handleless tools, anti-home list architecture, uh, bench at 45 degree angle, and backside of a signed uh, Woody Guthrie reference. Uh, any other? Bad, I would like yes. to bid a gold record of the song "It Wasn't Me" by Shaggy. <laughs> okay, it wasn't. It wasn't me. Okay, I missed I that. The ethics reference. officer. I don't know who the ethics officer has uh, bid a dozen empty spray paint cans. <laughs> Katie Muskrat. Okay. Katie Muskrat. Well, being a Woody Guthrie fan, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So far, we got Woody Guthrie, the ha handleless tools. Oh, Jesus. Anti homeless architecture. It wasn't me by Shaggy. And uh, a bench at 45 degree angles and something else. I think I'm going with backside of Woody Guthrie sign. Woody Guthrie, one. Woody Guthrie, two. Woody Guthrie, winner. Woody Guthrie, backside of the sign. Okay. We have three more to go. And then I'm going to drink like a horse. Okay. Uh, let's <laughs> next. Oh, this is a goodie. Oh, whoever thought of this one, I really want to thank you. It was really a joy writing the description for this one. Rat birth control station taken over by raccoons and squirrels. Yes, this station designed to control the rat population located at the ISO headquarters has unfortunately become the hangout for delinquent squirrels and raccoons. Witnesses have observed Squirrel saw squirrel strong banners hung around the station's parameter. They also report hearing a continuous loop of the Chipmunks Christmas album emanating from the hangout and the intermittent squirrel chant, no trash trash can will defeat us. In a recent development, local GOP representatives have learned of the station's original anti-life purpose and are feverishly creating legislation that would raise the station and in its place erect a fire pit to hold their book burning events. Should you have the winning bid, we'll throw in a complete set of banned Nobel Prize winning literature and a quart of lighter fluid. Let's bid. Snail eggs, otherwise known as snakes. Huh? Snags. I will Snags. personally come to your house and drill a hole in your uh, basement so that all the rats can go inside your house instead. Okay, rat hole. Okay. The first thing was smegs. We have Snags. smegs and rat. What? Snail eggs. Snail eggs? What's a snag? It's a snail egg. <laughs> so a chag is a chicken egg? <laughs> okay. Rat hole and snail eggs. <laughs> Anyone have anything better than rat hole and Oh, okay, plural snags. Okay, <clears throat> more than two snags. Anyone can beat more than two snags or a rat hole drilled in your own basement hole? Yeah, I got a bid. Yes. Uh, I'll bid an MP3 player filled with uh, 10 hours of judges ranting about Martin Luther King before they sentence you to a misdemeanor trespass. <laughs> that is a strong bid. Very strong bid. By who is this now? Officer Muskrat? Officer Muskrat's ex husband, actually. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Muskrat ex's husband. Okay. MP3 player playing uh, uh, Judge Rants, Snags, and Rat Hole. Do we have, uh, have, do we have another? Uh, Blu ray disc with nothing on it. Blu ray disc? With nothing on it. Okay. 
Cody has one, and also ethics officer bids age Trader Joe's dumpster unidentifiable organic waste. Okay. All keeping right. On, keeping on the rodent theme, I'd like to uh, bid uh, a set of glue mouse traps, but instead of gluing the mouse to those, which is unethical, it just makes their feet sticky, and then when they walk around, they make your whole house sticky. Tiny little sticky footprints. Okay. Creative way of using glue traps. All right. Uh, when you invite me over, remind me that you have them all over your house. Okay, Cody, please. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Glue traps, Blu-ray with nothing, MP player with judges, rat holes, snags. Okay. I think we're going with the MP MP3 player with judges ranting about Martin Luther King Day or Martin Luther King. Going once, going twice, and sold. All right, we have two more. This is one of my, next one's one of my favorites. I want to thank whoever came up with it. Elon Musk birthday party clown. Okay. Yes, with the winning bid, you can have Elon Musk perform at your child's next birthday party as a clown. You'll enjoy Elon the clown when he performs such acts as the disappearing morals and ethics trick. Or when Elon teaches the birthday kid how to fire all the children at the party, except for the evil ones. And of course, there's the ever popular Neuralink trick. This occurs when Elon the clown implants AI chips into the brains of the children at the party whose parents are not paying attention so that he can create his own cyborg army. Should you win this wonderful item, we'll throw in a free audio tape of Alex Jones reading Grimm's fairy tales. Shall we all start bidding? <laughs> Cody. <laughs> oh no, Jabroni's here. Uh, no, Jabroni's here? Are you actually quoting Travis Kelsey? No, I don't know what that's about. Jabroni is one of the lawyers. J J His Jabroni name's Jabroni? Name. Well, it's what we called, um, we had Jabroni and Jabroni's dad were our prosecutors for the uh, train bridge trial. You, you know, Jabroni is like, that's a, that's a, okay. You wouldn't want to be, you have your last surname being Jabroni. Is it really Jabroni? No, he's just a Jabroni. Oh, okay. Okay. Gotcha. It wasn't like Richard Jabroni and his dad, Curtis Jabroni. Okay. Got it. All right. <laughs> I Anyone else? Taylor Swift blue check mark. Taylor? What's a blue check mark? Okay. You got it's it. It's the yeah. thing that says that you're a legit Twitter user. You're oh. Like, this person on Twitter okay. is really you. Okay, got it. X, I mean. All right. Taylor Swift's um, blue birthmark. I mean, check, check mark. <laughs> I Anyone else? The car that Elon Musk flung into outer space, but it's still out there. It, it's just yours now. Yeah, the Tesla. He, I think he put a Tesla into outer space. To, to, unfortunately, he wasn't in it. Tesla in outer space. We got Jabroni. We got the uh taylor swift blue check mark anyone else anyone I'd, I'd like to bid um a las vegas sphere you know the giant illuminated sphere. oh yeah yeah i'd like to bid one of those to a city of your choosing mm. okay las vegas sphere let's let's pick a nice small city it would go really well and well in uh like camden new jersey would be good okay um vegas sphere we've oh, got oh, tracy oh. the prosecutor's successor by particulate matter and ethics no, office. No, no, no. The Jeff the lawyers, uh, Jeff the lawyers to pay. It's oh. really, really classy. Yes. Jeff, so being Jeff the Tracy lawyer Connelly's is successor. Tracy. Oh, I thought you were bidding him. Okay, his to pay. Um, okay. And then he's got a rusting cyber truck stuck in the mud. Okay. All right. So we got a lot of uh, bids here. I, Jabronis, Taylor Swift's. I'd like to mark. Yes. I'd like to bid the job of being the guy who tells Elon Musk, you're the greatest at seven in the morning. And then again, 
you're even better at 7.30. And then at 8, you are so wonderful, you should rule the world. Every half hour, I'd like to bid the, uh, the joy of, of, of occupying that position. I want to okay. bid the scales that they keep in the back of the pickup truck cruiser in the Virgin's Police Department that they use to weigh the semi trucks that are overweight, and they're really obsessed with those. Okay. All right. God, we have a lot of bids here. This is going to be a tough one. So just some of them, Swift, Blue Checkmark, Tesla in Space, Vegas Sphere, Jeff the Lawyer's Toupee. That's that's a strong one. A toupee, a good toupee is a good bid. Uh, rusting something and the Elon Musk cheerleader. I think we got to go with Jeff the Lawyer's Toupee. So Jeff's Toupee going once, going twice. Sold to Jeff, the lawyer's toupee. All right, last one for the evening. Thank God. Okay, uh, number, last one, capacity. Now for the one last item, and what has been the inspiration between the no coal, no gas auction of horrible things? That's right, capacity. The thing we don't need and will never use. Um, what is it? It's a method power plants use to steal from communities. They want to be paid millions of dollars to stay open, but not operational, just in case they're needed in like 25 years. Uh, it's sort of like the time you brought that blockbuster video club membership or the extended car warranty or the stationary bicycle that you now have your clothes hanging on. Uh, yeah, that's what capacity is. So with the uh, winning bid, we'll also throw in a $2 million life insurance policy available only to persons without any family members, friends, or pets. Let's start the bidding on the last item, capacity. Yes, no. Bids, bids, bids. So my my horrible thing, or my bid is that, uh, um, the, how do I describe this? The 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 naming on that life insurance policy of Granite Shore Power as the beneficiary of the life insurance policy that, that I'm going to win. Okay, that's my bid. That, that's that's a good one. Granite Shore Power being the beneficiary. We have another one. Anyone? I actually would like to jump in here and just say yes. that I think I want to I want to just declare that in anticipation of the demise of this horrible coal-fired power plant, I think we actually instead of auctioning off this horrible thing, need to auction off one wonderful thing tonight because we're making progress. What's wrong with you? What's you know, going on here? I know, right? So this um, was not this was not in my contract. Well, here it is. Uh, can can I have the slide, please, of the wonderful thing that we're going to auction off? Oh God, I hope it's not kids' art. <laughs> wait, wait! I was about oh, to. I see. Win oh that no! Bid. Technical difficulties. Uh, here we go. Uh, here we oh, go. Oh God! What is going? This is this has the become a disaster. You. Whose idea was this? I'm contacting so, uh, the auctioneers uh, uh, union. I'm out. I'm contacting the Southeastern Pennsylvania auctioneers. I, I, this was not in my contract. I have nothing to do with this. Too bad because this is our auction. And so uh, what we're auctioning is this uh, beautiful vision of the future. You can see some community, people playing together on a playground. How to ruin a great auction. And some kites. And uh, some really great creature that definitely does not have deformities because of toxic stuff from the coal pile. And uh, and so uh, we just want to let you know that- I leave, just send me my check, I'm out. That we could all win tonight if we play our cards right. And I think maybe the Nepal groupie yeah. is here to tell us how we could all win them. <laughs> so the good news is that we can all win 
And the even better news is uh, we are adding to our community of ways that we will all win this um, by building a powerful community that can use our relationships with each other, our creativity and our resistance to respond to high demand on the electric grid. Um, so we're launching a community-driven demand response project. Ever since BP coined the, the phrase carbon footprint, the energy system has wanted us to believe that decreasing our energy consumption is an individual responsibility and requires self-deprivation. And with this framework, ISO simply assumes that no one wants to be responsive to demand on the electricity grid and is predicting that as we move forward for more electric and a more electric energy system, we're going to need trillions of dollars worth of new energy infrastructure and even more peaker plants to fuel uh, the peak demand that they're predicting. Um, and so we're going to remind them um, that that's just not true. And so we're going to start small and intentional with groups of neighbors, friends, families um, who are going to coordinate with each other to measure how much energy, how much electricity um, our households are using, um, and then figure out what we can turn down, what we can turn off, what we can use at certain times and not others. Um, and measure what the difference is. Um, we're going to collect our data. We're going to organize uh, with each other. And we're going to scale up intentionally um, and slowly. And, um, and then as we scale and we measure how many kilowatts we can give back to the grid, not from burning fossil fuels, but from reducing our usage together, we could plan to bid collectively into ISO New England's market as a demand response entity. If large companies can do it, so can we. And if we win, we can use that funding that we get to support future residential ratepayer demand response. Uh, we can purchase meters for households of, uh, of different incomes, low uh, especially. And we can build relate more relationships with environmental justice communities. Um, and we can show ISO that the way that they're doing things is antiquated, outdated, and we don't need it. So that is what we're all going to win. We're so excited to be doing this work in community, and we hope that uh, folks uh, who want to participate keep their eyes out for more information coming and uh, get in touch with us for with any questions and we're excited to continue this disruption of the system. I want to I want to just add one more thing because it's one of the fun parts to me. All of the sort of experts that we have floated this idea to who are like kind of on our side all have this response of like that's a great idea. You can't do that. Like it's impossible. Which, you know, I think we love showing people that uh that that bigger things are possible. Uh, than any of us think when we decide that we're going to do them together. So we're excited to show the experts uh, what's possible uh, when you operate out, you know, on something other than like a capitalist profit model. Yeah, and be unicorns like our new pool group is right now. <laughs> Ethics officer for Atlas Holdings, I need to announce that this is uh, such a devastating um, uh, disclosure that I'm going to have to go back to our corporate uh, and uh, let them know that we're going to have to cease all operations. This is just too much for us to handle. I love this hey. transformation. Um, Jabroni, uh, Prosecutor Jabroni, do you want to share yours? Well, if we are going back to our, our bidding, I can offer as a bid um, a thousand of my old business cards from the prosecutor's office because I'll be quitting my job tomorrow, um, calling for the abolition of police, prisons, policing, borders, um, and 
joining the the team at New Hampshire Legal Aid. Yo, I I just got a call from uh, the New Hampshire Marine Patrol, and we're actually have all been accused of trespassing on their profits of, you know, the whole utility grid in New England. Um, Just FYI, that you should know. Oh, I see we might be having some technical difficulties in Burlington um, with help there on the screen. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to jump in. And um, so to recap our successes for tonight, um, many of us have won really fabulously horrible items. And um, I think we were keeping track and uh, I think we know who all of you are, despite your fabulous names. And um, we will be emailing you if you won an item. We will be emailing you your digital certificate of ownership um, and probably nothing else. Don't forget and, my check. And uh, Mark the Auctioneer, um, I actually have... Uh, I have a check that I can sign over to you. It's on foam core. It's two, it's like 18 inches high by three feet long, written Great. to the client obedience center by um Salem State University about six years ago. Will it fit in an ATM? Absolutely not. Okay. We have we have a bucket of loose change. This is I actually have so many plans for that for that leaky smoke sack that now I have to cancel. You're telling me this was fraud? <laughs> I mean, you can still have plans for that leaky smoke stack. And Leaf is right. We do have $500 in loose change. Well, we only have $400 in loose change because I let Isaac take all the quarters for laundry. So we have a lot of Isaac's clean laundry. Uh, that'll be, that'll do. <laughs> no, the corn conglomerate. I hope they're not getting arrested right now. All right, so... I think that um, so this this served as our uh, our monthly campaign call. Can we thank our auctioneer Mark, who uh, who worked hard to turn our horrible things into things that were funny and horrible? Well, thanks for your participation. You guys made it fun. Yeah, thanks for showing up, bringing your creativity. Um, we did record this. Uh, oh, great! I feel bad for all of the people who decided that they had something else to do on a Thursday night because. <laughs> As always, this was super fun. I'm really glad to see all of you. And um, I'm glad when we can show up together and be silly while we're also learning a few things and uh, and building relationships to get things done. So we'll see some of you in Maine on March 6th. That's us at the CLG meeting. Um, Leaf, were you going to paste a link? Yes, I, uh, I have to uh, get the link. One moment. I have to get rid of Jim Andrews first. Um, go away, Jim Andrews. No. Stop it. No, you're coming with me. No. Oh, no. <laughs> um, okay. I have, so this link is just very long for some reason, but this is supposed to be the link to register for the in-person CLG meeting. And then this is the link for WebEx to join online. And we so will get some shorter Here's links. what I want to say. Um, most of you are in the no call, no gas calls to action thread. If you're not and you want to be, all of you are definitely uh, cleared to be, or no, in the CLG caucus thread, I guess. Um, if you want to be in it, it's also there, but you could also ask Leaf or me or Natty or Nathan, because we definitely all have this link uh, to register um, if this link is too long for you to deal with right now, um, to register either to attend online or in person. Uh, in March in Portland. <laughs>